Example 2.1. An engineer received a bonus of $12,000 that he will invest now. He wants to calculate the equivalent value after 24 years when he plans to use all the resulting money as a down payment on an island vacation home. Assume a rate of return of 8% per year for each of the 24 years. Find the amount he can pay down using the tabulated factor the factor formula and a spreadsheet function. So this problem is asking us to solve it using three different ways. But before we do anything, we first uh, need to list everything we have. So we have here that the engineer received the bonus and this is gonna be the basis for the investment. So therefore your P will be equal to $12,000. He wants to calculate the equivalent value after 24 years. So he wants to know how much these $12,000 are going to be worth 24 years after the investment. So that means that we are looking for F. After 24 years, that's our N. And uh, it's telling us to assume a rate of return of 8% per year. So we have I equals to 8% per year. Okay, so now let's draw the diagram for this. Okay, so it's going to be 24 years. There it is. It's straight. So, okay, let's start with year zero, one, two, three. I'm going to go to the end, 24, 23, 22. Okay, before I put anything in the middle, we know that we have P. So these are going to be invested in year zero twelve thousand then we have our interest rate don't forget the interest rate of eight percent per year and then we want to calculate F twenty four years after okay, so we want he wants to know the equivalent value so it's gonna be here Okay, in between, we do not have any cash flows from years 1 through 23. Okay, so all we're doing is we are compounding interest over the $12,000. Since we do not have any cash flows here, and we have 24 years so that we don't have to um, draw each and one of the years, in this case, I'm just going to put this kind of like a continuation that the years go on in between okay but there are no cash flows if you had activity here like positive or negative cash flows then yes you would have to draw all of the years so that you can also include those cash flows okay but now let's start with the first method we want to use the tabulated factor so number one tabulated Okay. In other words, we're going to be using the tables, or we can also call it the notation. Okay, so now let me go to the notes. Okay, so we said here that we're looking for F. Okay, so that means that we're going to be focusing on this side right here. It's going to be find F given P. Okay, so if we look at, here we have the formula that we will be using uh, in a minute. We have the uh, spreadsheet or the Excel function that we're also going to be using to solve this problem. But right now we're focusing on the notation one or the tabulated factor. Okay, because this right here comes from the formulas. Just a little uh, explanation here. 
basically this right here is the same as the formula but it's saving you some time right here I have pointed out that you have the FP factor so that means that this part right here excluding the P well there's no way for me to oh, there it is to highlight it that part right there is if you were to solve it so plug in the I and raise it to the N it would be the same value that you will find in the table for this factor okay, so like I said it's just saving you some steps because the formulas get more complicated as we move on on slide 2-5 you will see an example of the factor tables uh, but this one right here it says that it is for 6% interest okay so you need to locate or identify the correct table in our case for this particular problem we will be using a percent if you have your book your textbook you will see that at the very end there's a section one of the appendices contains all of the necessary tables if you don't have it I will be posting all of the tables under the course material so in this case well there's many tables for different percentages but you're gonna look for the one that has the 8% in the corners okay but before uh, I tell you how to go about with the table let me go back to the problem and let's write the tabulated factor uh, that we're gonna be using so we mentioned that we are looking for F so F will be equal to P then you start the factor the first letter will always be what you're looking for so it's gonna be find F given P that's what that means find and given then it's the percentage and then the number of years so if we plug in the numbers we know that the P is 12,000 and then the factor is going to be find F given P at 8% and 24 okay so we said that it's the 8% table we already have that one identified then we're going to look for the column so it's find F given P so you have 8% then we need to look for find F given P and then for the number of years so once you have identified the column you're gonna go down until you see a 24 okay so that column corresponds to this row right here and it's a total of 6.3412 this is the number that we're gonna substitute our factor with so this right here will be equal to 12,000 times what we found in the table 6.3412 okay so I'm just gonna put a note here saying that this number right here is from table okay. and then you just multiply these two and you should get a total of seventy-six thousand and ninety-four dollars with forty cents. Okay. This is one way for solving your problems, and it's actually the way or the method that we will be using in the upcoming examples because it's the easiest one. It will save you a lot of steps. But here you have to learn all of them for this particular problem and also the, so that you're able to compare them so the next one will be using the formula okay so if I go back to the notes or the notes if I go back to the notes okay so we already did the notation so now we're gonna do the formula method okay so I'm just gonna copy that formula here so find F will be equal to present or your principal 1 plus I to the N. Okay, so P is 12,000. Okay, and you're going to multiply that 
times 1 plus 8 percent so it's going to be 0 0.08 and that is going to be raised to the 24th power okay so it's going to be the 12 percent okay. if you are to put this in your calculator the 1.08 to the 24th you will get a total of 6.341181 and other numbers okay so this now if we compare it to the tabulated factor you're gonna see that it's the same number well this one has more decimals but this one is rounded to the fourth decimal number but it's essentially the same number so that's why I'm telling you this part of the formula right here starting from the parentheses is the same it's equivalent to the tabulated factor so it will save you some steps and some computations you just look for it in the in the table and you will have a result so now if you multiply these two oops, if you multiply these two you will get a total of 76,094.17, which is fairly close. So it doesn't matter which method you use. But as I mentioned, the first one is shorter. Okay, so we're done with the first two. Now let's compare it to Excel or spreadsheet. Okay, so based on what we learned um, in chapter one, you may go back to the video for that example. We know that the Excel formula to find the future value or to find F will be something like this. So you have to put the equal sign, F, V, future value, and these are the parameters that you need. You need the interest, you need the number of years, A, and P. Okay, in this case, we're going to be plugging in the interest, which is 8%, N, which is 24. In this problem, we do not have an A, okay? But remember that you need to leave the space, or if you don't want to leave the space, that's fine, but you have to put the comma. And then we need the $12,000. Okay, do not put a comma to separate the thousands in that number. One thing that I want to point out here is that notice that the 12,000 are going down. So therefore, in your formula, you must put it as negative 12,000. Okay, so now let's plug this in or let's put this in Excel. Okay, so we have Excel, so that means that we're going to put equal future value. The rate we said it's 8%. Okay, then for 24 years, the number of periods, remember no A, so you can just space and comma, and then the present value, it's minus 12,000. Okay, and here you have the answer is 76,094.17. Okay. Just put it here, that this will give you 76,094.17 which is the same answer as the formula one because Excel also uses all of the decimals but it's very close to the tabulated factor okay, so like I said we're going to be focusing on the tabulated factor because it's going to make our lives easier